Tuesday. Um, it is currently 7.30 in the morning. All of that literally took me an hour to complete. I recently, um, of course, got my steamer. So I am supposed to steam the day before. So then when I wake up the next morning, I can just photograph and list. I'm actually supposed to photograph as well. But since December started, I actually bumped up my listings to 20 a day. So instead of me listing 60 items per week, I'm listing 100 items per week. So that's almost double the inventory that I have to search for. And um, that causes me to pick up items that I would sometimes pass on. Um, and I've noticed too that about out of the 100 items that I list a week, 20 of them are flawed and maybe about 12 of them are able to come out in the wash. So then I have to list those eight that have like flaws in the item. And it just really grinds my gears because I do look over everything when I'm at the bins, but I think their lighting is just terrible for that reason. So it is kind of like some flaws that I miss. So I'm annoyed about that. So then that means that I have to drop my price down, but that's okay. So I was actually inspired by what Megan likes, I want to say. So I just started following her because in my I'm thankful for a video where I listed off my favorite 10 YouTube resellers, I got a few comments with her name in it. So I was like, you know what, let me go watch her. And I actually like her channel. I like her chill vibe and I just like the content that she gives out. And it's kind of frequent and it's it's not overbearing. I'm a person that don't like too much um, content all at once, like all the time. So her content is only like 10, 15 minutes and then it's straight to the point love that but i watched her recent video by the time you guys see this is not so recent but uh she showed you guys literally from start to finish um of her inventory process and all the things so i actually want to show you guys an update because i recently since that last vlog i moved all of my inventory over here well not all this is all of like the tops and the lightweight sweaters all of my jackets and coats are downstairs in my niece's bedroom um, so I have everything up here. I ended up switching everything on each rack as far as these ones go. Before I had like, you know, small, medium, large, and then every, anything above a large, all the tops and then all the sweaters. I decided that since I have them going this way, I have like small tops, small sweaters, medium tops, medium sweaters, and that way I can just keep you know, the flow of everything. These are all of my dresses in the second row. And then in this last row is all of my men's items. So these are actually all of like the sweaters and the coats, um, the blazers and all of the heavier items on this rack. And then the rack closest to the wall are just all of the tops for men. Um, all the dress shirts, t-shirts and you know, those things. All right, and then over here, um, I have the men section. So I have men trousers men pull on pants so just like their joggers and things like that and then uh the men's jeans now i think i only have maybe like seven items in there um but before i would keep all of this together and it was just in one big bin and then i found out like okay like we're going to be sourcing more trousers so let's break everything down so i like to keep everything organized by category which makes everything so much more simpler when i'm looking for the item so uh category is the way that i store my items nothing is like you know uh labeled or anything so let's say something sells i'll come in and uh, for the most part, I'll have like the label showing in these. So I'll grab it just like that. And then I'll take it out and then throw this um, paper to the side because I actually reuse these. So I do not ship my inventory in these uh, clear baggies. You already know I like to ship my orders out like in packaging paper and, you know, have it like that. Just a nice presentation. And then this one is me in shorts. And then this bin is um just like miscellaneous so like any dust bags i pick up scarves or purses and i don't have a lot i think i have maybe like six items in there so i don't really pick up a lot of miscellaneous items intentionally because i just don't know how to sell those but the things that kind of speak to me i'll pick those up this is actually all of the items that i plan on listing come february which is probably going to work out because i live in texas and for some reason we always have like 
snow in February. So that would be super beneficial if that ends up happening. I'll have all of this inventory to go through for that week that we typically have it. Um, and yeah, I've been stocking up. Now, I don't pick up literally everything, but I pick up the things that I would typically pick up if it wasn't season, if that makes any sense. So I have a pretty much a pretty full one. Um, these are three bins, so if need be, I'll, this one is kind of full, so I guess if I continue to source more, I've been telling myself to like slow down unless it's like, you know, something great, like a great size or a great style or a great brand, then I'll bring it. But for the most part, I try to just not pick up too much, you know, because um, I don't want to store that much. So that is not it. We still have more. All right. So this is my theater room. All right. Yeah. So this used to be my office. So that's why those are up there. Um, I'll pop up something so y'all can see. But um, yeah, this is what it looks like now. We bought new couches. My son's play stuff. So we actually let him play fully in this room. Um, it's a lot of space in here. So we just kind of, of course, bring everything out. But anyways, um, also he knows how to open doors. So I like to keep the five gallon <laughs> uh, and I'll put it right in the front of both doors so he doesn't get out. All right, so then for this room, uh, this one is my women's jeans. Now I have these labeled for 27 inches and under. So a size four and under. And then these are of course women's jeans as well. These are labeled for a size 28 and over. So a size six and over. And then these are my uh, women's swimwear and sleepwear. Now all of these are packed up. I don't have the jeans in the clear plastic just because it's much more easier for me to go through them when it's time to find an item. Um, Cause I feel like if I, put them in packaging, it would just take a lot longer to find, but I don't do that for those, but everything else I do. Um, but yeah, so this is the women's swim and sleepwear. So for some of the swim items, so like the, the bras as well, and then like swimwear, I will package them up together because my intent is to actually, you know, pull it out when it sells. Um, and I don't have a lot of it, so I didn't really want to waste a whole bunch of those uh, clear baggies on just like one item where it only fills up maybe like a third of the bag. And then this one um, is the women trousers. So any type of office wear pants I put in here. And then this one is the women pull on pants. So any joggers, um, uh, regular pants, anything that is not a trouser, I will put in that bin. And then this one is women bottoms. So like leggings, um, shorts, skirts things like that will go in here. Um, I have not been picking up activewear. I don't even look in the activewear section anymore just because it just doesn't excite me. And I don't know, like I feel like it's just not it. Even when I find stuff at the bins, it has to be like a great brand. Otherwise, I'm not picking it up. Um, and then the last one is the children clothing. So I have just literally everything in there. Girls, boys, babies, just everything that involves a child is in there. Um, and I think that one is getting close to being full. So I may need to, uh, get those other two bins and maybe break it down, but we'll see. But that is pretty much what my inventory looks like. So now I am back at the desk. I need to actually print out the shipping labels. I didn't make that many sales yesterday. I did receive, um, two offers, one this morning and then one yesterday. Um, and I countered, so I probably shouldn't have, but I did. So that's my fault. Um, one was just a little bit too low. It was like 60% off. If I hadn't just listed it, then I probably would have accepted it. But I had literally just listed it and like, I want to say maybe two or three minutes later, I received a 60% offer. I want to give you guys a sneak preview of my merch. Y'all want to see it? All right, y'all. So this is actually what my website looks like. I'm so excited for you guys to shop my new merch. But since this is a sneak peek, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm selling. And this is the first one. And this is just a t-shirt that says I resell clothes and shit, which is my OG tagline. And I do have this in four different colorways. So you can get it in a sand, you can get it in a heathered gray, a black, and then also a dark chocolate. And then of course, it's like right on the chest pocket. So that is one good old option. 
And then, of course, I do have it on a hoodie because we are going to be dropping for the winter. And, of course, it's going to be cold outside. So I do have it in two colorways, which is just black and then gray. Now, this one my boyfriend designed. So, yeah, <laughs> this one just says certified Benz Digger. And I love it. So I do have it featured on the chest and then as well as the back. And this one is $25. You do get four different colorways, so it's the exact same. It's the sand, the black, the heather, and the dark chocolate. And yeah, I love that one. I thought it was cute when I saw the design. This one is, this is my Ben's Day shirt, which I thought was funny. This is the vibe that I went with, and I love it because it's very simple and it's very me. And then, of course, this one is also available in those four different colorways, the sand, the dark chocolate, the black, and the gray. And those are my three shirts and my hoodie. And I'm actually really proud and I'm excited for you guys to be able to shop it. I'm going to try to work out something with the website that I'm using where if you guys purchase uh, three items, you can get some type of discount, um, like a, a decent discount. Um, so it can encourage you guys, if you do want to get all three, you don't have to spend so much money, you know. Um, but yeah, that is what it's looking like. And I hope you guys are able to shop it when it drops on December 21st. So yeah, y'all, that is my merch. And I'm excited mainly because I put out merch, I want to say either March or April of 2022. And for some reason, 2022 seems like it was five years ago. I don't know why, but it was just literally last year, but it was the beginning of the year. So I guess that's why it was so long ago. It will be available a week from today this video goes out. So I'm gonna make it available December 21st, which is the first day of winter. So it just works out perfectly and it is limited. So it's not gonna last very long. So December 21st, I will actually do a giveaway and you could possibly win a free shirt plus a few other goodies. I do have to go find those goodies, but the goal is to do that. Um, I think I wanted to actually do it when I reach 4,000 subscribers. So I think that's what I plan on doing actually. So I'll show you guys the giveaway stuff, but once we hit 4,000 subscribers, that's when I'll actually go ahead and pick a winner, you know? Enough of merch. Let me go ahead and download all of my shipping labels. Um, so I do have a thermal. So I don't pull the items first. I like to download these first, put them over there in my shipping station, and then go grab them and then start the process and um that's essentially what we're about to do so since i don't like have anything that needs like a skew or anything i just generally just print it out and then just write what it is on the back it's very rare that i have like the same of an item where it would be hard to kind of pinpoint what it is exactly but um so like today i have two L.L. Bean items going out. Generally, if it's just one L.L. Bean item going out, I would just put L.L. Bean because, you know, it's easy. But since I have two, I'm gonna put L.L. Bean sweater. So one is a sweater and then one is a pair of um, pants. So yeah, I only have four items going out. Nothing on Mercari. I have been a little bit more proactive on sending out offers on Mercari than I was prior because the decline in my sales on Mercari is just, it's almost astronomical, okay? And I also started to um, use USPS. So if you guys are on Mercari, y'all know that the, the cheapest shipping label for anything over a pound was 950, which was FedEx SurePost. Now USPS has a SurePost and theirs is 799 for anything over a pound. So I started to change um, my listings that I've, been putting out this week i'm not going back but as far as this week i'm doing it because y'all i literally went from you know averaging about 25 sales on mercari a month to now i can barely get above 15. so i just feel like shipping definitely plays the biggest part in it and that's why i'm being proactive at like dropping my price um maybe 10 to 20 percent when i cross list it just so it can maybe help out also like on eBay when I do my shipping labels, not sorry that I'm ping ponging, but I like that they put it in order. Now I didn't do this. Oh, I did do it in order. Um, they put everything in order so it makes it so much easier. I've also been proactive with sending out <laughs> offers. I can get up to maybe about five watchers 
um, on an, on you know the items and then I'll hurry up and send out offers so I think in a day I send out maybe three or four batches of offers all right so I actually like to pull the the easiest stuff first so this is a L.O. bean fleece like you know quarter zip I talked about this a few times on my channel I found this and I was so excited because I have been looking for an L.O. bean uh, jacket so when I found this at the bands I was like chef kiss I, if you guys haven't noticed, <laughs> you probably don't care either, but I have lost weight. Um, so I couldn't fit this. So it was just really disheartening that I had to list it. I listed it really high just because I wanted to get a decent amount for it just because I couldn't have it. Uh, so yeah, so this one ended up selling for $40. Okay, y'all. <laughs> so this is the pile of clothes that I've listed this week, which is wild. So this is like 80 pieces of inventory. All right, so these are just some Bonobos man's trousers. These are kind of like some, I don't know, it's like some chinos, if you will. I listed these yesterday and they sold yesterday. Um, it was a very quick turnaround just because I didn't list them high. I list them at $19.99 on eBay. I got two watchers immediately. So I sent out a 15% uh, off offer and they accepted it. So these sold for $16.99. All right, so I think I put, the sleepwear pants in this one even though i believe i have them labeled as men some of these are not in the packaging paper but i think that's okay those are late so these are a pair of ll bean like pajama pants i have them listed under men's so they shouldn't be in here but that's okay and i'm glad i remembered but this is what the label looks like and these actually sold for $19.98, which lets me know that these were relisted recently. And I dropped the price by a penny, so it can just kind of give off the fact that I know now that this item has been dropped down because I changed it, you know, at the end. So this is our third sale. This one is a little bit harder just because uh, the fabric content is specific. So yeah, this is the only thing with <laughs> this process is that you are digging granted it didn't take that long because i have everything organized for the most part all right so these are just some chico traveler pants these are actually a velour style i'm not really sure if i could have got more so i think these were actually listed at 24.99 and i sent out that 15 percent offer they accepted it so these sold at 21 to 24. so we only have what sales that are 90 90 dollars 97 dollars from yesterday which is kind of sad but i'm grateful because i could have none you know and then this is my shipping station so if you guys watch my ship with me this is what it looks like behind this is just my bin full of all of my priority shipping and then all of my poly mailers i like to keep my stickers tapes lint rollers and scissors and sometimes a sweater shaver over here and then of course my paper and then my water <laughs> So this is the Goodwill I decided to go to today. I did get there as soon as they opened and I went straight to my favorite section, which is the denim section. I did find these Maywell denim jeans. These are the perfect vintage jean. The comps weren't that great for pre-owned, so I ended up leaving them behind because $10 is a little too much. So those were left. I did find a crop style as well, but I put those back. So these were the Abercrombie and Fitch. I believe these were the ultra high rise. I ended up getting these just because they were half off and I could get at least about 25 to 30 for them. I was actually shocked to see wild fox denim. I've never seen them before. Let me know if you've ever found wild fox denim and have you sold them before? And here I am just going back through. I did find some more denim. These were Good American, the Good Legs, and I usually love picking these up at the bins, but for $10, it's definitely not worth it because these do not sell that well for me anymore. Then I came across these Spanx. They were in a large size. These were a pair that I've actually sold multiple times, 
and they were 50% off. I still don't know why I did not pick them up, but I know why they were a skinny, <laughs> but I still should have got them. I think they would have sold. These are some true religion, like Lyocell pants. I believe these were men's. This brand seems like it should be worth something, but it's actually not for these type of pants. So I think their denim does sell better. Um, even at half off, I probably would have still left them. So this is actually a bolo brand called AYR. Unfortunately, these were trousers and these are not, you know, a hot commodity. So I ended up putting them in my cart just because they were half off, but then I eventually put them back. These did come home with me and Mme. LaFleur. The comps were okay. <laughs> so I'm probably only going to get about 30 to $35 for them, but they were half off. So I think I'll get a good return. These are Juicy Couture. If these were picked up at the bins, I definitely would have got them. They were a crop style and they were terry cloth. And this is the tag you need to look for when you pick up Juicy Couture. So this was actually a bolo brand, Acris Punto. These are just some wool trousers. Unfortunately for me, I did not check the comps. I was blinded by the brand. So when I got home, I noticed that these were not selling for a lot. So I'm probably only going to get about 20 to $25 for these. Um, this is actually not my favorite section anymore if you are short you already know how I feel my arms hurt every time I leave the dresses section but I still decided to look through it because I was hoping I could find something great unfortunately I didn't I did find this Diane Von Furstenberg dress she is actually known for her wrap dresses so I didn't pick this up just because it just doesn't look like it's <laughs> worth picking up this one was a shocker to me. Look at that price point. They want $22 for this beat up, old, dusty looking coat that is very much so old and crusty. Athleta has it pretty much died. Um, when I see the brand, I always make sure I check the care tag and look when it was made because I don't pick up anything past 2022 anymore, especially in tops because they just do not perform. And of course, I found this amazing Johnny Was piece. I was so excited to find it because I never come in this section. So to find this, I was ecstatic. So this was actually gonna be a new brand to me called Psycho Bunny. However, it was a little dingy and faded, most likely due to wash wear. And for $9, I just couldn't fathom taking that home. So I left it. This is an older tag Tory Burch. I also decided to leave this behind. I actually didn't even check comps. I just knew that it was an older style. And for $9, I just don't think that was worth it. So I ended up leaving that behind as well. Looks like I came across somebody's collection and this would have been a good brand to pick up at the bins, but however, for a $7 price point for each one, even if I lotted them up, it still would have been a good profit for me. I did come across this Lululemon t-shirt, but of course I ended up leaving it, but old me definitely would not have. Now, these are all the items I decided to go ahead and put back. I put back these AYR, even though they were half off y'all, I hurt my feelings, but they did not comp well, so I ended up leaving those behind. Don't want to sit here and waste money just because it's half off. This was Lafayette 148. The comps were also terrible, so decided to leave those behind. And you know, if I find them at the bins, I'll get them though. These were a pair of those made well. I believe these were the crop style. Those didn't comp well either, so I decided to leave those as well. I believe this is just like a morgue of all the clothes that I didn't take home. <laughs> uh, these were the free people like just float pants. I found this exact size. They have them listed. I want to say for like $25 and they still aren't sold. So I decided to leave those behind as well because if I can find two of them and neither one of them sold, there's no point. This was Etro. This is actually a great brand to find, but definitely not in trousers, especially as bland as these. So I left those behind too. All right, y'all, so I just made it back to the car. Um, just real quickly, so I have been a full-time reseller since, I wanna say, uh, July of 2021. And during that time, I would always go to thrift stores and you know buy whatever. And just with the brand knowledge that I knew at that time, I didn't know much. So I didn't get a lot of great items. So I wasted a lot of money. 
paying up for items. So I want to say like November, December of last year when I was nine months pregnant, um, I realized at that time, like I may have to find like a real full-time job because um, at, the, at that time it wasn't really sustaining me enough. And that summer I started going to the bins, but I still didn't implement it as like a complete bin shopper. Um, and I still wasn't picking up the best things during that time either. So it was a lot of factors during that time um, as well. So like I said, I had entertained the idea of going to find a real job because I wasn't bringing in a lot of money and it just was not sustainable for me. And um, in January, I realized, you know what, let me just be a full blown bin shopper because I can keep my cost of goods really low and I can turn a quicker profit because I'm able to accept like more, you know, low dollar sales. So I ended up um, doing that. And, you know, as time went on, I noticed that it took me until the summertime of this year to start becoming a little bit more, um, knowledgeable with brands a little bit more picky even at the bins. so you fast forward till now y'all probably watch a lot of my reseller vlogs and you're probably telling me like hey you should have picked that up da 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 I'm letting y'all know I touch so many clothes okay I've looked up so many brands I've looked up so many styles and I promise you the things that I am passing up on at a regular thrift store not paying you know the eight to ten dollars for it I draw my line because I have a threshold in my mind every single time when I pick up an item so when I'm at the bins I'm sourcing this item for a dollar fifty tops okay because that means at the very least I'm able to sell that item for let's say i don't know 15 to 20 dollars like that's totally fine because i'm gonna make a good profit on it and even if it sits a while i only put a dollar into it there's that i just wanted to say that but i was really happy with the four items that i picked up i've been there for an hour and 49 minutes and i do think that that is actually a good time frame so i'm about to head home and start listing the items that i photographed this morning all right y'all so yesterday this is what i picked up at the other thrift store um, this is an Eileen Fisher Petite Petite, which is like really small. These are just like some velour pants. And then um, these were those Athleta Brooklyn joggers, also a size zero. So I think the same person dropped these off. And um, these are just some blue, well, navy blue like joggers. Um, so with those being $13, I got them for 75% off. Um, and of course I would have never paid for them even half off. I don't know if I would have got them um, But yeah, I will see y'all in the next video Please give me a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe if you enjoyed my content. I do like to put out reseller vlogs Ever so often. Um, I think I'm gonna try to put them out a little bit more just so you guys can see more behind the scenes of what a full-time reseller looks like This was more so a half of a day of a full-time reseller not like a full day Y'all know I typically try to do like two days, but since today is Thursday and I filmed it kind of late. I'm sorry Um, this is all that we have, but um, I will see y'all on the next one. Bye